George, it's a bonus point win. You're two from two in your group. How are you feeling after that performance? Yeah, obviously delighted with another win. Um, look, another tough game that we knew it was going to be. Uh, Japan are, are a great team. They're challenging different ways. They've got um, an unbelievable attitude to never give in. Um, and it took probably till that third or fourth quarter for us to pull away a little bit, which uh, we'd planned for in the week, actually. Um, probably not the, the prettiest to, to watch. And, uh, we had to build a game in a different way to, to obviously get our points in the end, but um, thought it was good discipline by the boys. Yeah, there seemed to be a sense of frustration maybe at half-time. What were some of the adjustments that you made to make sure that, as you spoke about in the week, come the hour mark, the, the try started to come? Yeah, look, there's no frustration from our end. Um, we understand what wins test matches. Um, I can understand what people, might, you know, people might see on the TV or in the stands, but um, we understand that building pressure is more important and... Um, especially in them conditions tonight. Sometimes if you force it too early, you make it a real, real tight game then. So, um, yeah, no, look, there'll, be, there'll be obviously decisions that we'll look back on, which we probably could have done better, but overall, very, very happy with the way we played. Yeah, you scored four tries, so you got the bonus point and probably left a lot out there as well. So quite an exciting place to be in as you look ahead to next week. Yeah, look, no, look, we're two from two and um, we're happy about that. We've had two tough games in different ways and, um, look, we've got to go and get better next week. Uh, that's our opportunity now and, um, we we're glad we backed la last, um, back last week up, but yeah, there's, um, there's some more in us. Well played, George. See you next week. Thank you. Cheers. Joe, would that be the best assist of your career? Um, it was planned. You won't believe this, but uh, me, Dan Cole and Jamie George in our activation warm-up back at the hotel, uh, part of it was practising our headers and uh, came to fruition tonight. It was a timely score because it sensed that there was a bit of frustration, but to get the bonus point win in the end, you must be very pleased with that. We are happy with it. We, we know it was tough out there, and that's because Japan never gave up, and they're a quality outfit. I love the way they, they go about their business. I love the way they play their rugby, um, and, and we had to be at our, our grittiest to get through that and come away with a bonus point. So we're happy with that. You're finding different ways to win, short turnaround against the Chile. So how does the team continue to grow going into the next game? Well, we'll enjoy ourselves tonight. Um, we're making sure that we do enjoy our victories here. And then we'll reset Monday, Tuesday. In fact, tomorrow, I think we might have a paddle tournament. Oh, God. How am I going to get up for that? I'm partnered with Steve as well. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, but then we'll look at Chile on Tuesday because we know that the spirited uh, performance that they gave and all the, all the other supposed Tier 2 nations in this tournament have been, have been putting out big performances, so we'll have to be on the money again. Cheers, Joe. Good luck with the paddle. Do you mean that? I do mean that. Good luck with the paddle. Thank you. Been a tough game, but you got the bonus point in the end. Give us your initial thoughts on that performance. Yeah, five points in World Cup group stages against a team like Japan don't come along very often, so we're, we're very pleased. Um, bits to work on. They probably uh, they came with a game plan. They executed it really well, certainly for the first half, and uh, found gaps in our game and that we that probably didn't know were there, and so that's a brilliant lesson for us, and uh, we'll learn a lot from that kind of game. Um, really pleased that we stuck at it. Obviously, scoring late on, scoring the last play of the game, is those kind of bonus points uh, could be crucial later on the stage. Yeah, it looked like a game that you had to figure out as it was going on. What were those conversations like and how did you work your way through the game? I think we probably thought we were in third or fourth gear physically. Um, probably just needed to up our defence a little bit, getting off the line a bit more, winning our collisions. And then I think we found when we did that, their tactical kicking, uh, their offloads off the floor, their little funny plays, they didn't work quite as well. So stuff to, stuff to learn on. Um, and yeah, like I said, we just got to just got up here at the beginning of the game a bit better. And for you personally, you carried for over 100 metres tonight. You're getting through a lot of work. How are you enjoying your role and how you're growing in this England side? I'm loving it. Playing for my country, having a, a role where I feel like I'm contributing a lot is, is the dream. And uh, I'm loving it. I'm, honestly, it's, it's a dream come true. And uh, to play for England is, is the pinnacle and, and I'm feeling that. Congratulations, Ben. We'll see you next week. Cheers, thank you. And another good test for your side tonight. How do you assess tonight's performance? Well, I thought the, it was a tough game against a really well-coached Japan team. But delighted with the result. We had to work hard for it. We knew you get your rewards if you keep doing the right things. And delighted for the players and especially delighted for those supporters out there. I think what's, what's evident in the first two games of this tournament is what incredible supporters we have out here that are travelling and following this team. And um, we, uh, we want to make sure they enjoy and, and have some good nights and some good things to celebrate. 
George Ford just talked about pressure into points. You did kick a lot, but eventually that told. Was that the game plan all along? And is that how you, you think this team will continue to grow through the tournament? Well, I think the, the, the players are going to find a way to, to get the result. And you saw it's a Japan team who, um, I think they kicked the ball 37 times. And then it's un very unusual for a Japan team, which tells you a little bit around the, the conditions, the nature of the game tonight. Um, but the one thing's clear is you've got to go onto the pitch. And wherever the plan was at the start, the players need to adapt and find a way to ensure they get the result. And they did that tonight. Four tries is always a good place to be in and there are probably a lot more out there for your side as well. So how will you work on that and continue to build that side of your game as well? Well, we'll have a good debrief for this game. We'll have a good analysis of what we're going to do going forward. I think the first thing is right now is the players to enjoy this win. And that's, that's important. The players enjoy it, the supporters enjoy this win. And then uh, we've got six days till we play against Chile. And we'll be looking forward to putting in a really good performance there um, in, in front of our supporters. I'm sure there's going to be a lot travelling to Lille to watch us play that game. Thank you, Steve. Good luck next week. Thank you.